Mike, let's start with you. What did you think of Ron DeSantis saying we're going to do good in Iowa? I mean, he did go to all 99 counties, seems to have invested a lot, getting the endorsement from Kim Reynolds, Bob Vanderplatz. Are you hearing a shift in tone? Well, I, I hope he got a lot of frequent flyer miles in his trips around Iowa, because I'm not sure he's gotten much else. Uh, he uh, never took off. His candidacy has still not broken 20 percent in the Iowa polls. Uh, he's headed for a third place finish and uh, and his campaign is basically over. Uh, he'll do he'll get wiped out in New Hampshire. He'll lose South Carolina. He'll lose Nevada. He'll get creamed in Michigan on March 5th. He'll lose Super Tuesday. So that's all she wrote. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Nikki Haley. Uh, there is obviously uh, some talk, not just about Iowa, if she places second, but what it means moving forward in New Hampshire. Governor Chris Sununu endorsing her at a town hall event. Let's play this clip. All right. They're trying to find that, but we all heard that. That was last month. Tom, let's bring you in here. Nikki Haley. Is she the biggest thorn in the back for Donald Trump moving forward? Well, or potentially Ron DeSantis. You know, you know, so much about Iowa isn't necessarily about who wins. It's about who meets or exceeds expectations so that they can go from here on to New Hampshire, South Carolina, and to the other primary states. Uh, and so tonight we're going to find out whether or not this momentum that Nikki Haley appears to have in the public polling is actually real and whether or not it's going to be reflected in, in, the final, in the final results here. And just to go back to your previous point, uh, Bianca, uh, tonight really is about Ron DeSantis. Uh, DeSantis and his team have spent over $30 million. They've knocked on hundreds of thousands of doors. They've really bet the farm on, on, on if not winning, uh, finishing a very strong second here. And, uh, and that's really, I think, the story that comes out of tonight is how, how well does DeSantis do and whether or not he's going to be able to continue. You know, Bianca, I think Tom Go brings ahead. up a really good point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's really not about who wins. It's about what kind of expectations are set moving from uh, Iowa into New Hampshire. And I think it's clear that, you know, Governor Haley has the momentum right now. Uh, but the challenge is for her is Donald Trump still has the enthusiasm. And so with this weather, this is the coldest uh, Iowa caucus may be on record. And it ju it's just a matter of who, who gets the vote out. But I think the challenge we see moving into this race uh, for all of the candidates is uh, $350 million has been spent in this presidential election so far. $100 million of it has been spent in Iowa. So Iowa doesn't matter as much. The last three nominee Republican nominees did not win Iowa. But it can certainly do a lot to give momentum. And if, if Nikki Haley can do well, uh, meaning she can come in a strong second, uh, I think there's real opportunity for her to gain some momentum. Now, does that mean she wins the race? Absolutely not. But certainly well, uh, those well. expectations for her are different than the expectations for Donald Trump. If you listen to Chris Christie, she's going to get smoked, but we'll see what happens there. Uh, we have a little bit of an <laughs> interplay here on DeSantis and a participation trophy. Let's play this clip, gentlemen. Before we get started, thank you, everyone. Governor DeSantis, I want to present to you this participation trophy. <laughs> now, probably not going to win the election, right? But we're proud of you for trying. I mean, Sorry, buddy. Sorry. He's special, he's unique, and he's our little snowflake. Oh, I mean, the trolling has been somewhat epic this uh, season. And we're just getting started, Dick. What do you make of that attendee there? <laughs> well, good luck, Ben. But uh, I, th I think that this expectations game can be way overplayed. Uh, the big thing about Iowa is this is the first actual ballot test of Donald Trump. <laughs> first time we go away from the polls, away from the pundits, and the voters actually cast their votes. And if Trump gets anything close to 50 percent of the vote, it is a gigantic, amazing, huge win. As far as second place is concerned, it's going to be a weak and pathetic second place, whoever it is. Haley's at 20, DeSantis is at 16, while Trump is at 48. And that kind of momentum won't get you into second gear, uh, much less uh, onto the highway. So, um, and also, don't forget that Trump has really started to savage Nikki Haley with negative ads. He has one ad that talks about how she wants to raise the retirement age, and she wants to cut Social Security benefits. And yes. I think that's going to hurt a lot. 